Emma, how's the project coming along? Uh, it's fine. I think it'll be ready by Monday. Good. Keep me updated. Sure. So I'm now joined by Danny, who was a production assistant on Gender. So Danny, what was it for you that drew you to this film? Well, basically I was working on a project with G, and she told me about um, the script that she was writing and that it was very, you know, related to to a story that happened to her. And I, to me, I care a lot about diversity in film, but also diversity in any workplace. And this is an issue that really, you know, that I care about a lot. So I think that... Um, that a film like this talks about um, an important issue and I just wanted to to be part of that, you know? So, Danny, so was it important for you to be part of an all-female crew as well? Yeah, absolutely. Like, I usually work in a lot of film sets and I notice that there is a, you know, disproportionate amount of men and women. Like, it's usually men working in the, either the DOP or director and stuff. And sometimes, occasionally, you do get producers and everything, but that are female. However, like, when, when I worked on this project and I saw more women involved, especially the DOP and the director, who were both women, and of course my friends who are also producers for the film I just it, it was a special occasion for me I think because uh, I want to write and direct and I'm writing directing myself and um, again it's a topic I really care about and I'm just hoping that a lot of films follow suit <laughs> And so the film was left on quite the cliffhanger and I think a lot of people that I've been speaking to tonight had different interpretations about what was going on in her mind and the thing that I was wondering is, is there scope for a sequel do you think? Well it's, it's a very standalone project but I think the good thing about standalone projects is that if you see the film and at the end of the film you say what happens next then you've done something right. However if they choose to do something afterwards I think uh, you can definitely explore all levels of it. You can explore or some people, like for example, social media, some people might go, oh my god, I can't believe this lady did this or that. And um, I think it's such a complex issue. I think you can definitely continue it if they choose to do so. And do you think that this film has scope to actually go viral and be something that's going to put its own print on popular culture right now? Um, I hope so. I mean, it's <coughs> sorry, it's very unpredictable. But um, but if it does, I hope it starts. It continues the conversation that's happening right now, especially in the film industry, because um, with the whole Me Too and Times Up movement, I think it's just adding to the conversation. So. And then people realize, oh, this is not just an issue that happens in the film industry. It also happens in any workplace. So I hope it does so. But if it doesn't, at least it's a very, it's a standalone project that has an important message to, to anyone who sees it. What I also noticed from watching this film is that the men that were in the film, apart from the boss, of course, were portrayed in a way that was supportive. And did you feel the support from the men that worked with you? Absolutely. I think uh, they really, when I was working with them, they were really engaged in the topic. And I think that's as important. It's not just enough to have women speak out and stuff. It's important for men to be aware and lend their hand in the conversation. And I know there's going to be this whole, you know, counter argument of the not all men and the whole you know, us versus them and everything. But I think this is a topic that affects all of us. And I think the more men can realize maybe there's something we need to change in society instead of just blaming women for all of their problems. It's just I think it would make um, I, I think it would make it more collaborative and I think it would just make everything better. A world a better place, but um, it, it's cheesy to say, but it's true. Yes. So I'm a writer-director myself, and I'm doing a bunch of uh, short films right now. And G has actually acted in my previous short film, so I'm just very excited about that. So it's a continuous collaboration then? Absolutely. It's a collaborative project. And stuff. It's like destiny, you know. We just we work with each other, and then we just make each other better filmmakers. So, yeah. The universe has aligned itself for you guys to kind of yes. come to projects together. Yes, definitely. Cool. Well, thank you very much. Thank you. Believe me, I tried. Do I make myself clear? Yes, sir. Thank you for watching the fan carpet. If you like this video, be sure to click that thumbs up button at the bottom of your screen. And also be sure to subscribe to the Fan Carpet YouTube channels. They're absolutely free. And so much fun, too. Be sure to check out the official website, thefancarpet.com.
Also, you can follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram to stay up to date with reviews, competitions, the latest news, and so much more. 